Welcome back with us. We're live here at Toxic City Comics with the owner, Matt, and that creepy guy back there, uh, Chevy. And if you're watching this, uh, in case you're wondering, yes, I did win this honestly. Um, don't mess with me or my podcast or my website or my articles. That's right. Because I'll come find you. I don't know if you will. <laughs> Does that happen a lot? Do people mess with you about your podcast? Um, that's right. <laughs> yeah, come take it. Oh, and that uh, company that actually tried to, <laughs> tried to uh, steal me away. Yeah, come and get it. Well, I, didn't, I didn't know the juice. We'll tell you later. Okay, yeah, okay. We don't, we don't mention them on the air. We don't want to promote them. Right. You know, indirectly. I'm on the business. I want to know what's going down. Well, so much like else coach. birthday, man. Y'all been here for a year? year? One year. One year. Actually, one year yesterday, but we're celebrating it today. That sounds good. That sounds good. Well, happy anniversary, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Thank y'all for being here. Uh, things are actually winding down now. Uh, are, are, are there, is there going to be another band? No. Or no, that's it. That's okay. It. Good deal. Creek and uh, the remote junkies. The remote junkies. We had this yeah. artist here that randomly plays music, and he's like, hey, I'll open their strings. We jump on the guitar, open. Uh, for the it was awesome. Like, yeah. whatever. There's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong like, with I didn't it. Write no, song, I got no I fear. No. No, no fear. you're straight up. And y'all have a ton of sales going on now. Is that for tonight only, or is that for the weekend? Or? No, it's just for tonight only. Just for tonight only. Well, we close, we're close tomorrow. Anyway, so. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. I work I work today, so it throws my whole story yeah. off. Right. Y'all understand. Yeah. Y'all understand. I work shift work right now. Yeah. And here? Like, what's today? Wednesday? Dude, it's Friday. It's probably something like that. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. Like that. So if you're watching us right now, you've probably seen a couple of videos. Yes. Or have been alerted to our presence up here. And they're open till 11 o'clock. You still got two hours, and traffic is reasonable at this hour. So yes. you need to get down here and fast, and get in on those sales. Try not to kick JD's ass for this belt. I like that because he's holding a belt. Or do your wrestling <laughs> promotion. You better get here right now. Oh. Right get now. some yeah. Toxic City, in Lamar, Texas. Get down here and get you some comics. Yeah. Stop it. I like, I like Ooh, the energy. Yeah. I like the flow. I like what's happening right now. Uh, how, how much how much longer are we open? With that eleven. Till eleven. I got you till eleven. Eleven. <laughs> the cream of the crop. Play time. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Rest in peace. Savage. Oh, is ready. Boom. <laughs> Saw is ready. I like this turn to a macho man thing. I'm in. I'm in all day, macho man. Well, it's such an easy jump from him to you know Hulk Hogan. Right. Let me tell you something, brother. Right. Same voice. Use brother. the same voice brother. twice. It's good. Mm -hmm. Ooh, brother. Like Toronto, Toronto. Hulk Hogan stole that from me <laughs> when I was playing a game of baseball. Third baseball. <laughs> I got it though. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, yeah, it's been great. Um, man, we've had a blast. Awesome. Had a blast. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Okay. Thanks for letting me play with this belt. <laughs> He kind of took it upon himself. Oh. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I just he, he will it. take it back. He's but like, we're going to use this prop. Or will. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, how's the year been for you? Oh, it's been pretty good. You know, we're, we're still making it. We, we didn't shut down. That's a yes! <laughs> yes! Chevy still has a job. Yes! <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not getting paid yet. One of these days. Uh, <laughs> awesome. He's the owner. This is all his. The problem with being the owner is you don't get paid. I know. But he's stuck with me. I, I pay to work here. <laughs> I make negative something. I don't know what it is. Well, well, they say they say if, you're, if your new business makes it through the first year, yeah. it's, it's smooth sailing after that. Uh -huh. <laughs> now I, I I know that there 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 have been times where maybe something may have gotten questioned, but man, you've got a fantastic business here, fantastic shop. You have a little bit of everything and a whole lot of a lot of things. You've got a and, great customer base. You got a lot of friends that come up there and hang yes. out. Very and, much. and it's it's almost like a family. It is a family. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yes, met this a lot of great people. Made a lot, made a lot of friends. Yeah. Yes, we're about community. And not to mention we have you guys back with us now. So. Who's yes. stopping us? Nerdery? Nerdery on board? Oh, no, man. That's as right. long as we're here, you'll be here. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> hey, and by the way, come down and check out these little <laughs> t-shirts for Toxic City. No, we're only printing 100. For sure. There you go. We got these too. Yes, those. Those right there. <laughs> and a girl shirt that we, we are not wearing because we're not good. Yeah. She's a real man. <laughs> <laughs> so, except for that guy over there. That guy over there? <laughs> He's like, well, what's up? He does look a little cute. Uh, a little. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks you're cute. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, he's married. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I'll hook you up with somebody. <laughs> I mean, he might be a little big. But somebody over here. Yeah. 
Lewis likes Ninja Turtles. Lewis likes Ninja Turtles. Lewis likes Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Right. We're, we'll get Lewis an address and we'll hook you up. With yes, uh, yes. He uh, will. We will have him in a sequin evening gown here uh, coming up. Yeah, proms. Tech City proms. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. 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 So uh, yeah, that's uh, we we I, I do believe we now have the dress. Yeah. So uh, to state facts, that is a true thing happening. We do have a large donation that was given to get Lewis in the dress. Yes, mm. actually, yes. that donation was giving us given to us in such a large quantity to keep him out of a different dress. Yes. <laughs> so yes, but they didn't want to see the French maid outfit, so they donated two hundred dollars to see him in a sequin evening gown. Yes, uh, something classy. Something class. No. The taste. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and don't don't forget, you know, there's plenty of other cast members here we can get and dresses. Um, so you can go to the GoFundMe or uh, you can help help us out by helping our friends out coming up here to Toxic City Comics and spending some of your hard earned money on some awesome comic books. Yes. And I, I have to say, you have like the best selection anywhere I've been. And, Man, I love it. And we try. We try. Even if you can't make any today, these guys have always got some deals going on. You gotta check out their dollar comics. Uh, dollar got, books. Oh yeah, trades. Trades are on sale. So really check it out. Five dollar awesome trade boxes. Guys. Yeah, five dollars and three for twelve. You buy in bulk. We the better, the more you buy, the cheaper it gets. And, uh, Especially uh, on the dollar books. My wife has officially gone through every single one of those boxes today. <laughs> And uh, she loved the sizable staff. The trades. Did she stop by the way? Yes. <laughs> She's like, all <laughs> well, these are the ones I'm taking home. It's like, who's that? She didn't stick me with the bill, did she? It's like, yeah, she's out the door. Right? <laughs> I already have, already have a good enough. Hey, he's back! Hey, that's Chevy! Hey. Chevy's back. I'll do his best. You're going to take it to your maker, right? You know? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's how we started. You know? We're, we're going to act like we're somebody big. And here we are. Like We're one of the most well-liked comic book podcasts in Houston. And this is our home. And Toxic City's number one? Yes. That's right. This is our home. So if you like the reviews, if you like the stuff we say, which uh, can get explicit at times. So... Watch the chitlins. Yes. Don't, don't let them watch us. We're bad influence on children. Uh -oh. Uh, sometimes. 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 Sometimes, <laughs> so, sometimes triple X. They're yeah. rebels. Shirts oh. off. Shirts off. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, okay. We, toyed with that we, idea. We, we do have a, a, a pants down photo on our website of uh, Chris. It's weird. It's got weird real quick. <laughs> I'm okay with this. I do have a photo on, on our website of me showing off my coconuts. <laughs> Oh, yes, yes, and uh, me with my shirt up, right. rubbing, off rubbing the gut, gut. yes, uh, and uh, Lewis's uh, evening gown will be his embarrassing moment. We've all had one, and uh, Stephen, our man behind the camera over there, I think you know who's next. Yeah. <laughs> Are we getting you in that dress? No, I've already had my embarrassing <laughs> moment. You're next. I see myself in the mirror every day. I have embarrassing moments daily. Mm. But our, our watchers and listeners don't see that. <laughs> well, they see me every Sunday. That's embarrassing. Or we get one of those two-way mirrors. Well, hey, we're, we're redoing your bathroom today. Or, you know, Tanya. Or I like where your head's at. No, so we don't do makeup. I don't know. Like, so somebody I'm going to be real excited to be prettier than me, okay? <laughs> we'll keep that in mind. But yes, uh, uh, y'all do have manga, y'all have pops, comics, uh, and of course, war games, war games Warhammer, action figures, uh, my doomsday is gone, but these things happen. Yeah, but uh, did you notice uh, Chevy wince as I said it? <laughs> I uh, was not supposed to sell that. Yeah, yeah that was mine. <laughs> uh, just want to let you know, a real wrestler actually bought it, so if you do want to fight him for the belt, Nate Laws. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll <laughs> trade him the belt for the, for the Doomsday. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. He, he might rather fight you for it. I don't know. I, you know, I haven't, been, I haven't had uh, my tail whooped in quite a long time, and, I, and I'm certain that I'm well overdue. Yeah. I mean, he can give you a good couple of chops through the chest, some of the, some of the good. Yeah. Or, I'm so down for that. <laughs> I really like, am. <laughs> they just curl up in a ball right into that. <laughs> I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm ready for this. Let's, let's go. Set it up, man. <laughs> he comes in here uh, a couple, every couple weeks, so. 
So are there any uh, special events you have going on besides uh, your one year? I mean, do you have uh, anything we, upcoming? We will be having some upcoming. We're still planning because uh, we had free comic book day two weeks ago and we had this one. So uh, tomorrow will not be a break because this place has been destroyed somewhat. <laughs> so, um, it could have been a lot worse. Yeah, oh, yeah. it could have yeah, been a lot worse. <laughs> I will find some little bitty things here and there that the kids place in different places. So it's been pretty, it's always fun. See how much uh, Dirk Strangely got pinned on the floor over there, which oh is actually a coffee, burnt coffee mix that he makes. With Mark. <laughs> so hopefully it will come out. He was like, oh no, I don't need that thing on the floor. <laughs> yeah, you do. Okay. Now, um, you also had our friend Chris Foreman down here. Right, yeah. And, uh, been trying to get him down here for a while, actually. Oh, uh, we have been too. Yeah. And uh, it's like, hey, I thought you were my personal friend. We've gone on many road trips. <laughs> Lots of laughs. I know how loud you snore. <laughs> <laughs> but he he was very impressed with the store. He loves it. Uh, mm -hmm. He he loves all the room. Right. He said specifically, I love how roomy it is. It's not you're not claustrophobic. Yeah, that's that's one thing. I I kind of went around to a bunch of comic shops. You know, you know, me not owning a comic shop until one year ago. <laughs> Uh, went to many of them and was like, okay, what do I like, what I don't like, you know, what what would I like to see, and, uh, you know, try to put as much as I could into it for, for that type of thing. So, well, I, I'll say you definitely hit it out of the park. It's, yeah, we, we, we love it wouldn't be the typical comic shop, you know, come in, buy your stuff, get out, you know, because, I mean, how many times have you tried to have your good old nerdy conversations and somebody's like, hey, can I do this? Oh. <laughs> No, no, this one over here. Oh, okay. oh, oh, yeah, yeah, my bad, my bad. Right, right, now you can come back over here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. and, then, and then everybody's looking at you. Where's the door? Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, there, we've actually, we of course, we do reviews on other stores every now and then, usually out of state, because I travel out of state every year. And uh, this is the exact opposite of the worst store I've ever been in. Right. And, uh, it, the customer service is phenomenal. The selection is awesome. Pricing is, is perfect. And then this has got to be the largest selection of standees I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, we have actually more in the back. We just had to put them out because we're like, we'll put more. I saw those earlier. <laughs> I, I do want to put the Deadpool one back. I think I have one more Deadpool one. Do you have one for Shannon? How much are they? Uh, most of them are around 40 and some of them are, uh, the, some of the Marvel ones are 35 you hear that so, so and uh, I think the the bigger guys like Groot and uh, the Wookiee over there are, are 45 because they're a lot larger oh, but yeah that's, I thought about it, I can't have cardboard cats. cats right yeah they'll tear it up oh well, they'll, they'll love it and a lot a lot of really awesome <laughs> like original t-shirts right. um yeah just got our new toxic printer share so and those yeah. are those are limited quantity are they right. not for who printed 100, these 100 actually uh man I I think. Is it up? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, he he he's not printing shirts anymore. He had a, uh, another lady print them up that has his printing equipment. Oh, so she's okay. trying to break into it. But uh, he does print shirts for. He works for a printer. So. Oh, okay. So uh, yeah, he's trying to try to break out. He still does a few things, and I'm not. Chevy knows more about it, but you know, che Chevy kind of takes care of that stuff for him because I'm not here all the time. And and I, I love. Your variant pricing, your variant pricing is is incredibly reasonable right. to an almost unheard of degree, and I, I, I love it. I, I, I try to match eBay because everybody was like, "Well, on eBay, uh, you know," but you know, I try to keep it competitive as you know, as most online. But you know, sometimes I can't. You know, Amazon's like, "Oh, we got it for six bucks." I don't even. I pay more than six dollars for that. So, I'm like, you, know, but, you do what you can. Yeah. You know, but, you know, I won't beat it up in the mail for you. <laughs> there you go. And we bag and board all our new comics. So yes, that's, uh, yes, which is a plus huge plus. Because uh, me being a comic collector, uh, you know, when they get bent over and you're just like, uh, I don't want that. Oh, man, I have been to comic book stores, and I'm not going to name any, but I've been to comic book stores, and there are some customers that are so inconsiderate. They'll come up to the rack, and they'll just fold books over to go... I mean, the guy's looking at the same book. I saw That's a sin. Did. He's yeah. looking at the same book. There's 30 copies of it on the rack, and he's bending every single one to go and look and behind then, it. And then chooses the last one he doesn't do. It. Right. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it It does happen even with the boards, but, you know, it's, it's more of a rarity, and they do stay in a lot better condition, which, you know, of course, 
30 years from now when everybody's like, oh, that was that crazy first appearance that I got hold of. And it's, it's in so much better shape. Comics yeah. are an investment, folks. Wow. Yes, uh, and if you go back and watch or listen to our, our, us talking to Chris Foreman, we actually go into that, uh, it, and I'm about to ask you the same questions I asked him. Right. Um, number one, you're, you've been in the comic book industry for quite a while, right. in one form or another, and of course we all remember the infamous value crash of the 90s, <laughs> and over-publication, and just outrageousness, and how that ruined comic book value. Um, do you think it's actually starting to return to an investment status? Uh, yes, I, I, on some things in the... You know, of course, anything that says, oh, collector's edition, you might want to be a little weary of it yeah. because they probably printed the heck out of it. Yes. Um, you know, I, I do believe, uh, I've kind of noticed, uh, you know, of course, DC's going to the $299 uh, thing, so I think they're, they're trying to work on the price because I've seen, seen some on Marvel trying to push it to $499. Yeah. So I, I'm so glad that someone goes, hey, you know, let's kind of bring it back. And, uh, of yeah, course, I, I love how Walking Dead's, even though with all the... Hoopla stuff of Walking Dead, how great things are. They've kept it at two ninety nine. I, I'm like, man, that's because they could get. You know, everybody probably go, hey, let's go eight ninety nine. They've been like, yes. I think I think for the longest time that was DC's motto, drawing the line at two ninety nine. Yes, for for a long time. Yeah, but I don't know. Things change. I remember yeah. I remember first buying comics and they cost a buck twenty five. I remember that. I remember when. Yeah. Well, I, I remember uh, DC was seventy five cents and Marvel was a dollar, and then Wolverine came out and it was a dollar twenty five. We're like, and then it went to a dollar fifty. I'm like, how am I gonna afford comics? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a kid, man. Now hindsight, twenty twenty, yeah. you're like, oh man, I wish I it was that price. It's like, oh, why did I only buy one of those? Yeah. <laughs> And when I started working at Green's Comics years ago, you know, hey George, you know, uh, you know uh, actually his, his brother actually comes here and plays games uh, all the time, so it's kind of cool to see them guys. And uh, you know, I, I, I remember like, you know, like, oh man, I'm gonna get like ten copies of this and sell them to my friends. <laughs> you know, he's like, oh man, let's go for like ten dollars. I got you for five. You're my friend. <laughs> I've actually done that. Uh, for a while when I was uh, working in manufacturing plants, I was flipping comics. Because yeah. there, there was a whole bunch of guys I worked with, and they know better than to go into a comic book store because they have they have a problem, right. and they'll overspend. So what they would do is they'd actually pay me to go get their comic books for them. Right. But he was, he was like the in-between. Yeah, I was, I was a comic book drug dealer. Yeah. It's like, hey man, I got your Venom number one right here. It's yeah, yeah. Show me a cover. <laughs> but uh, question number two, what in your mind defines a nerd? Um, man, anybody can, yeah, everybody's got their things, like, I've had a couple of people come in, you know, uh, we got, uh, I don't know if Andrew, yeah, Andrew's stuff's still over here, uh, cool Brony guy, you know, not, you know, Brony's not for me, but, you know, I mean, there's, there's a lot of them out there, uh, you know, and he's like, oh, man, well, you know, don't, don't do this, and I'm so glad Andrew comes in here, because he can be him here. Yes. Uh, and, you know, he, he wears sparkly shoes, uh, and I dig it. Because you know, I don't, I don't know. Uh, he did a great podcast with us at one time when we were doing a couple little podcasts. But it was, uh, it was, it was great to see that he can be himself here. I mean, uh -oh. he dressed up. Uh oh, don't I'm getting nervous, man. Don't be intimidated. I ain't scared of him. You know, it's it's really great that you know everybody's got their own quirkiness to them. Everybody's got their own nerdisms. And, you know, it's like, oh man, I didn't bring, tea. Beer. I didn't bring you know, any beer. We had one guy. Somebody you know, give me a beer. Get a, <laughs> Don't pay attention to what's going on on my screen. Uh, yeah, so, you know, he can uh, tell me who they are. <laughs> so, uh, defining a nerd. Yeah, so, you know, everybody's got their got their thing, and, you know, you know people go, oh, man, I'm don't don't tell people this. I'm like, Dude, look, at, look at the bunch of groups we're in. I mean, these guys are into board games. These guys are into this. Uh, Hero clicks, you know. I mean, Legos, you know. I mean, uh, Minecraft. I mean, there's so many different things. Uh, Mystery Minis, Pops. I mean, it, it can be, you know, I'm into the art thing. I mean, look at look at all this genre stuff. You know, it's, you know, you can be into anything and you know, you know, be accepted as a nerd, which is kind of cool. That you know, it's like oh, a bunch of nerds. You know, uh, I, I went uh, two doors down to a scrapbooking place and uh, I was in Scouts with her son. She, and it's so funny because she just comes outside. She's like nerds and then shuts her door. <laughs> and I'm like. 
<laughs> it's it so funny, you know. And her and her son's got, uh, uh, well, actually, her daughter's uh, is box number two here. So. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah so, I, I thought I was good at uh, Lucky Thirteen. Yeah. It, and it's kind of funny. He just kind of walked in. He's like, "Hey, I'd like to open a box." And he's like, "Yeah, your box number two. He's like, "Really?" I, I have a question. Do you, do you think Stone Cold Steve Austin would be mad at me if I said he was a nerd for beer? No. Uh, he's definitely a beer nerd. Yeah. Definitely yeah. a beer nerd. Totally and there's weird. nothing wrong with I, that. I, don't think I know he, I'm I, one. I don't think he's a beer snob. No, no, so, not a beer so, snob. You know, beer nerd. I'm sure when he goes to specs, you just go, "Where's the bud?" If he, if he, if he was, a, if he was a beer snob, he wouldn't be throwing them around. Yeah. Like he does. Well, Very true. Can you hand those to me gently? <laughs> yeah. He never like how they beer froth when I open somebody them. on screen. No, you really, really can't. It's, it's, it's gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. toss. Yeah. yeah, I've been waiting for him to be like, like boom. <laughs> oh, that would be great. And, or he just goes <laughs> and just drops. <laughs> that would be. That's a Randy Johnson <laughs> moment. Man. Nolan Ryan's out there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we're gonna let you get back to it. I'm gonna let y'all wait for our next interview to be here pretty shortly, very shortly. So uh, hang tight. We'll be in there in a minute. Thank you so much for having us. And, uh, come see our friends here at Toxic City celebrating one year anniversary. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys.